and welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Now, this review of the Hall of Fame is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit of a, a, a different feeling, a different vibe, because it's not, not a Raw, it's not a SmackDown. It's about, you know, giving back, and it's about the respect, it's about the admiration, it is about the miles, the trials, the tribulations of all these wrestlers that, you know, paved the way, that set the bar. And there were some great, great speeches tonight, um, some that really touched me, uh, some that were interesting, some that was entertaining, each one bringing a different flavor, uh, very unique, very compelling. I don't think it was the greatest Hall of Fame show, though, I'll tell you that right now. There's a lot of things, I think, that could have been done differently. I think the speeches, I think the um, the sequences, I, I I think Macho Man's probably should have went last, but then the way that it went over, I, I, there's just some things that rubbed me a little, the wrong way, you know, a couple times during this Hall of Fame, but some of the things that stood out, the, the highlight speeches for me was the whole, you know, the warrior thing with, with Connor, very moving, very touching, very motivating, um, the Bushwhackers, thoroughly entertaining, uh, Alondra Blaze, uh, uh, Medusa, uh, great speech, you know, you know, you could really tell that she, she raised the bar, and, and she raised the bar, uh, in this, in this, in this promo, in this speech, it was not really a promo, but Kevin Nash's speech was pretty cool, pretty funny, um, you know, the, the whole Macho Man thing, though, and I'm glad he went in, he finally got in, you know, he deserved to get in, but why the booze for Hulk Hogan, really, I mean, what disrespect, and I mean, I know, I know, hey, listen, you have freedom of speech, you know, you can show up and you can cheer and boo, but this isn't a WWE live event. This isn't a Raw. This isn't a pay-per-view. This is where we're paying homage. Have a little bit of decency. Have some respect towards those who paved the way and made something of themselves and busted their ass. Booing Hulk Hogan. Now, listen, I know Hulk Hogan wasn't the most popular choice to induct Macho Man because they had their problems. But when you're talking about the history and when you're talking about what it meant to the Hall of Fame, Hulk Hogan was the right choice. Hulk Hogan was the man for the job because they were for one another. They were against each other. They were tag teaming. They were versing another. You know, behind the scenes, we all know there was a lot of things that went on. Hogan's fault, Macho Man's fault. Tonight, it wasn't about that. It was about giving back. It was about paying respect. It was about talking about the accomplishments and the accolades. And I felt that Lanny, Lanny Poffo could have went a little bit more in depth about Macho Man. I think the the... The speech could have been a little bit better. I think it could have been a little bit more thorough. But, you know, it is what it is. Macho Man finally enshrined in the Hall of Fame like he deserved. Like I said, I'm not taking anything away from, you know, the guys and girls who, who did what they did in that ring. And, and tonight, finally, they earned their way into the Hall of Fame. I just think things should have been done a little differently. I think the speeches should have been a little bit... You know, like I said, I have my criticisms myself, but... You know, all in all, it was pretty good Hall of Fame, in my opinion. Like I said, wasn't the best Hall of Fame of all time. Had the Macho Man actually been there, sadly, due to his untimely passing, it would have been a hell of a lot better. I think the feeling and the vibe would have been better. But I'm not going to come on here and piss, moan, and complain. It is what it is. It was still good. It still kept me, uh, you know, watching from the next guy to the next girl to the next to the next to the next. Um, so, you know, had Macho Man been there, had he been there, if he was still with us, Pretty sure he probably would have went on last, but um, no, th there was definitely some highlights. In, you know, there was a lot of emotion going into this. There's no doubt about it. Kevin Nash ended it. Uh, you know, I was kind of like I said, I was kind of surprised that Kevin Nash was the uh, the the main event of this. Uh, Rikishi's was all right. You know, his was pretty good. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's was all right. You know, hey, it was it is what it is. Um, but the the Hall of Fame, you know, it it went pretty. It went pretty long. I mean, where I am right now, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. But over there in California, it's only like 8 or 9 o'clock or something like that. So, you know, the Hall of Fame is what it is. But now it's on to WrestleMania. It is on to WrestleMania where I will have full coverage, results, previews, and reviews as the matches are happening, as the pay-per-view is going. I will do everything I can to bring you all the content, all the features, all the uploads, and all my commentaries of WrestleMania. And, of course, any news, rumors, developments, or headlines that comes out of WrestleMania between now and tomorrow up until WrestleMania, I will bring it to you. Thank you for watching. Hall of Fame, to me, out of five stars, I'll give it, I'll give it, I'll give it four out of five stars. I'll give it, I'll give it four out of five stars. Your comments, your opinions, subscribe. And thank you very much.